Hey everyone, welcome back to Crazy Travels. I'm your host, the Mohawk Traveler. And in today's video, I'm going to be bringing you the top 10 strangest laws when it comes to the great state of Pennsylvania. Last week, we dived into the 10 weirdest facts when it comes to Texas. Well, today we're going to be traveling from the south up to the northeast and we're going to be checking out Pennsylvania, another state which is dear and near to my heart. Real quick before we get into it, that like button, please smash it. Subscribe button, maybe gently press it. All right, enough of that, let's get into it. Strange law number one on the list today, in Pennsylvania, it is illegal to be a fortune teller. That's right, if you're someone who likes to read palms, uh, read the moles on people's faces and heads or uh, wherever, um, if you like to give out buried measure trap, buried, <laughs> If you like to give out maps of buried treasure, or if you're someone who can concoct the perfect love potion, that elusive love potion number nine, guess what? All of that, illegal in Pennsylvania. You can't do it, you do it, you go to jail. Strange law number two on the list is for all you fishers out there, it's illegal to use a goldfish or a koi fish as bait. That's right. So if you're gonna go out fishing and you're like, I, have, I don't got any worms, I don't got any grubs, I got nothing. You see little Johnny in the next room with his cute little aquarium. You see that big, fat, juicy goldfish. Leave him in the aquarium, all right? You can't put him on the hook. You can't use him as bait. It's illegal. Strange law number three on the list, go moving over from our fishermen to our hunters, is that it is illegal to shoot an animal when it's swimming. So let's say, back from our Texas video, let's say there's Bigfoot, I'm gonna mount him, I'm gonna stuff him. Guess what? If Bigfoot gets his big butt into that water and he's swimming across the river, you gotta wait until he gets to the other side to shoot him. And then you can blast him all you want. But if he's swimming, or any other big game that's swimming, or even if it's a squirrel, you gotta wait. Strange law number four on the list, and this is for all you party people out there, which I did a little bit of that, you know, back in the day. I'm getting older. Oh well. In Pennsylvania, you are only allowed to buy one case of beer at a time. That's right. So if you hold a big party, frat party, getting ready for a big weekend, well, you better make sure there's a whole bunch of you guys at the store, and each one of you can buy one pack of beer because you can only buy one at a time. Number five on the list is that it is illegal to have more than 16 women living in one house. You might be wondering, why? Why is that illegal? That seems ridiculous. In Pennsylvania, if there are more than 16 women in, living in a house, you know what? The state considers that a brothel. And you best believe that causes a lot of grievance when it comes to sororities. Interestingly enough, for men though, 120 men can live in the same place and is 100% okay. 120 dudes live in one place? Fine. 16 women or more live in one place? Brothel. Moving on to number six on our strange list for today is that it, it is illegal to catch a fish with your bare hands. And you know what? It's not even that. You can't catch a fish with your bare hands. You can't catch a fish with your bare feet. You can't catch them with your legs. In Pennsylvania, there's only two legal ways to catch a fish. One, with a fishing rod. Or two, with your mouth. That's right. So I hope you got some big old chompers on you. If you ain't got a fishing rod, you can't use your hands, can't use your feet, can't use nothing besides your chompers. Moving on to number seven on the strange laws of Pennsylvania list, that for men, it is illegal to be aroused while in public. That's right, you see a pretty little thing, pretty little lady walking down the street, or a hunky dude, doesn't matter, you know, whatever tickles your fancy, but if you see someone that does tickle your fancy, you feel like, oh, I feel a little bit of something, something going on downstairs, you best hide that because that is considered illegal and you can get arrested for it. And going on to the other side for women, women, if you want to do any kind of cosmetic surgery or just wear cosmetics in general, lipstick, eyeshadow, rouge, whatever it may be, guess what? It's illegal to go out and do that unless you get the proper permit, then you can go outside and wear all the makeup you want. 
but no permit, no makeup. Number eight on this strange list for today. Once again, I'm sorry women, but if you're a housewife and you're cleaning the house, it is considered illegal for you to take any dust or dirt you find and try to sweep it under the rug. You're not allowed to do that. If you're cleaning the house, you better do it proper. You better have a trash can nearby to get all that dust and rubbish and whatever it is to throw away because if you try to sweep it underneath the rug and the police officer sees you, guess what? You're going to jail. Number nine on our list is, men, I'm sorry, but if you want to go out and purchase some alcohol, you can't do it unless you have the consent and permission from your wife. That's right. So if you're a married man, you're like, whew, had a long work week, my back hurts, been at the coal mine, been at the lumber yard, I'm gonna go knock back a few, you know, rolling rocks. Guess what? If your wife says you can't buy it, you can't buy it. You're kind of out of luck. And number 10 on the list for today, and we'll come back and visit this crazy state, trust me, is this is for all you car enthusiasts out there, and this one's you're not gonna like. If you're driving in Pennsylvania and you happen to see a horse on the road, and trust me, in Pennsylvania, there's lots of Amish people and lots of Mennonites, and you will find lots of horse and buggies on the highway. If you see a horse, on the highway or any road and you're driving the horse gets scared and stops because it sees your car if the horse refuses to pass you because it's scared of your car you have to have the equipment in your car to dismantle your entire car that's right engine out cars off doors off windows winch wide, everything you have to dismantle your entire vehicle to the point where the horse feels comfortable enough to pass by your car Maybe you're lucky, you just gotta take one tire off and the horse goes by. Maybe you're unlucky and you have a whole heap of parts and they have to put it all back together. But in Pennsylvania, if there's a horse and it's scared to pass by your car on the road, you have to take that thing apart to the point where the horse feels comfortable enough to scoot on by. So I hope you all enjoyed my top 10 list of strange laws in Pennsylvania. I love Pennsylvania, but some of those laws they're a bit goofy. But anyways, besides that though, make sure to once again hit that like button and gently tap that subscribe button because I would really, really appreciate it. And I hope to catch you all next time on Crazy Travels. This has been the Mohawk Traveler, signing off.